What's going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. It's great to have you back if you're a returning subscriber or viewer. Welcome to you if this is your first time here. Glad to have you. Glad you could be here to watch this video. Today we're actually talking about coverage and how the FCC has kind of put pretty much most carriers on blast. I don't want to say all because they didn't call out all of them. A lot of them, though. And I think rightfully so. So this particular study that the FCC did really puts the blasting on T-Mobile, especially T-Mobile, but also Verizon. So I'm going to focus this video on those two carriers and actually a little bit more T-Mobile, and there's a reason for that. Okay, before I get going with today's content, uh, if you would like to support the SMT in different ways, you can support us here on the channel. You can do a couple of things for me. Number one, check out the SMT Patreon community. There's a link in the description box. You could also check out the SMT Wireless Report podcast. We're on all of your favorite podcast applications. The SMT Twitter handle, at Sneed Tech. We also have the second channel linked in the description box where we put all of our live stream podcasts. So they're archived there. And of course, Megadon.net, the invite code is down in the description box. Support me, support yourself, the only social media that you will ever need. Take your social media life more seriously. No ads, no tracking, no algorithms. Do check that out. Okay, so thank you guys for your time there. And if we can get to today's content, the FCC study. So here's everything we know as of right now from the story. T-Mobile is accusing the FCC of inaccurate measures of their LTE coverage. So what the FCC found was that T-Mobile, as well as Verizon, were lying about their coverage. Their coverage maps, not real. So what they're basically saying is they would go to places, test the coverage of the networks, and they were seeing that where T-Mobile and Verizon did say they have coverage, they actually do not. So T-Mobile kind of defending themselves here. So the FCC not only accused T-Mobile, but also Verizon of overstating and over-exaggerating their coverages. This includes 3G and 4G measures. Um, and, and this is where T-Mobile kind of gets, a, I think, a little bit of credit in that they were looking at the study and trying to find the flaws. I can't blame them for that. But I think they're kind of splitting hairs here. So here's the situation. T-Mobile is basically saying, were they testing correctly? Were there any general errors? They said there was limited sampling. They say the vehicle and other measurement tools were flawed, basically trying to defend the inaccuracies. Now, the FCC's claim is that they were actually testing it, and the actual reports and the testing by carriers don't match what they found. So that mismatch compared to the real-world testing that FCC did, that's really the issue. So they claim that T-Mobile only had 63.2% accuracy in their coverages. Verizon only 64.3% accuracy and we'll throw in US Cellular in there 45%. All right, so no companies are actually formally contesting the FCC's rulings and findings here. So they're not they're going to pay their their fines or regulatory fees that are involved in this. They're not fighting it, but T-Mobile did come out and kind of make a statement claiming that it was inaccuracies in the testing that led to these flaws. Anyways, I think the fact that they're not contesting it says enough about, you know, what Verizon and T-Mobile kind of did. I think they know what they did. I think they know they're wrong. Um, you know, if when, when people are charged or when they're accused falsely of something, they will usually adamantly try to exonerate themselves. And of course, if your reputation is on the line as, you know, claiming to have this really good network and having all this coverage, you know, you would not want anybody to think otherwise. So, you know, I don't know. Um, I kind of, I, I don't really like the FCC, <laughs> but I don't see what the FCC has to lose here. You know, um, T-Mobile and Verizon kind of just letting this go in a way. You know, obviously T-Mobile's trying to save face with the story, but they're, they're still, they're going to pay their fine or whatever regulations are involved. They're going to, you know, just deal with it. You know, this is just kind of huff and puff. So uh, you guys tell me what you think of this story down in the description box. Let me know what your take is on it. What do you think about the FCC side? What do you think about the T-Mobile side? You know, to a lesser extent, Verizon and US Cellular. I feel like all carriers lie and exaggerate their coverage, so I'm not surprised there. But the fact that T-Mobile came out to kind of argue their case, but not really do anything formally, is kind of an indication of what the situation is. But hey, maybe you see it differently. Maybe you see it the same. Whatever. Let me know what you guys think down in the description, uh, down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. 
So if you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this report, please, by all means, do go ahead and rate this video. Like it for me. That would be awesome. Also, share it to your favorite social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. That would be awesome. Thank you so much in advance. And of course, if you're new here, do hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you can make your way back over here when I upload the next video. So thank you guys again for watching. I'm the SMT. Before you go, check out some of these other videos. If you're not finished with the SMT, you want to see more videos, there are some there that I handpicked just for you. So thank you guys again for watching. I'm the SMT, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.